skins. You have one, your car seat has one, your sofa sort of has one, and your bed has one, if you count bed sheets. But what about your electronic devices? All these things have skins to protect something. For people, it's their depression or ugly insides. For your tech devices, it's either to prevent it from looking nasty after a couple of years or maintain its resale value. But how is using a skin in the first place? Is it worth it? Specifically dbrand? We'll be finding out using a complete novice's perspective. My perspective. Let's get started with a little review. First, I want to say all my opinions are based off of my own dbrand purchase. They don't sponsor me. I know they do sponsor other people, but not me. So come on, dbrand, get to it. Okay, so I'm a complete beginner when it comes to skins and how to apply them on your devices. Good thing dbrand themselves have a YouTube channel dedicated to just showing you how to apply the skin on your devices. Sometimes they can be a little funny too, so that helps. They have a nice little customization tool on their website that allows you to pick your skin and see how it would look on a render of the device you own and other devices that you don't own. Pretty neat. As you can see, there's this nice marble dbrand skin on the back of my iPhone Tennis Max. I think it looks great. Don't copy me. Thanks. When you purchase a skin from dbrand for a smartphone, it actually comes with two skins in the packaging. One that covers just the back and one that covers the back and the sides as well. But that one looks 10 times more difficult to apply. I'm not touching that. You can try, I ain't doing it. I'm a novice. The camera module skin, if you decide to purchase that, also comes in a pair of two, but they are actually exactly the same. The application process is pretty easy. Just follow along with their YouTube video on your actual device and they'll show you exactly how to apply. But before you do all that, make sure you do wipe down your device so that there's no dirt or bubbles or, or dirt bubbles. Also, you do need a hair dryer. Steal that from your sister or brother. I don't judge. It's also pretty easy to mess up. So be sure that the skin is properly placed and it's completely aligned because it can end up a little crooked. Mine ended up okay. It is slightly skewed towards one side and you most likely can't catch on camera. It's really tiny, so that's a good thing. So what are the benefits of a skin? Well, it provides you a way to personalize your device and still have it look pretty clean without permanently altering it. I mean, let's be honest, I don't think many people will enjoy a spray painted neon green phone. That's just not what most people like. Then there's phones with glass backs. Glass backs are pretty clean looking. They look really nice, but that's just a problem waiting to happen. With a skin, you can cover that up and provide another layer of protection on it. Cause let's face it, no one wants to pay glass repair prices. Those things are expensive. And if you don't repair it, now your back is a complete hazard, which may end up cutting you. It's dangerous. I don't think skins are the best protection, but I do think that they protect you against scuffs and drops. Skins are pretty cheap too. I think I got mine for around $12 for both the back skin and the camera module skin. There is a negative to skins though. While a lot of phones these days come with water resistance or waterproofness, these skins don't. When you think of skins, you need to think of them as giant oversized fancy stickers for your device that just covers everything. But if you place your phone in water, your skin will act pretty strange. It'll end up not looking the way it was supposed to look like a prune. So overall, what do I think of my first dbrand purchase? I think people should look into this. If it prevents your phone from getting damaged, then that $12 can net you more resale value and in the process, allow you to personalize your device to look the way you want it and appeal more to you. I think skins are a nice personal touch that allows you to get more creative and dbrand themselves have responded to me pretty quickly whenever I messaged them and told them I accidentally messed up my order. So yeah, I'd say the purchase is worth it and I'd definitely be interested in buying skins for my other devices as well as my next phone upgrade whenever that happens. Not anytime soon though. Anyway guys, what do you think? Would you consider a skin for your device or are they too expensive or ugly in your opinion? Leave that down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and well, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.